ion ClF6 plus. Uh, I think, uh, so this is an L, not an I. So just to be clear, this is uh, Cl, not Ci. I know that's hard to tell sometimes. But uh, so it says draw the best Lewis structure. This one actually has an ionic charge, which means we're going to have to adjust the number of valence electrons. We know that we have seven. We know that each chlorine has seven, and there are six of them. And because there's a plus charge, we have to subtract one electron. So 42, six times seven is 42, plus seven is 48, minus one, or is 49, sorry, minus one is 48. 48, go ahead and stick all of your chlorines around that central. And what you will find is with six of them, because six times eight is 48, what that means is that if you put eight electrons around each of these fluorines, you will end up with all of the pairs of electrons, and there will be no extra pair for the central Chlorine, so there will be no pair of electrons. Uh, there will be one atom with a formal charge in here. Label any atoms with non-zero formal charge. If we look at the chlorine, we know that chlorine has seven valence electrons from the periodic table. It has six bonds and no unshared electrons. So you end up with a plus one for chlorine. So you can put the plus formal charge on the chlorine, or you can do the formal charge analysis. Either way is fine. Uh, now we've done a couple of these. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys tackle this and ask you what is the electron geometry around chlorine? Can anybody tell me? Octahedral. Thank you, Kristen. Octahedral. Somebody else? What is the hybridization? SP3D2, thank you. And for D, uh, oh, how? Uh, good question, Arense. So, um, well, we know there are six electron groups. And for six electron groups, there have to be six hybridized orbitals. And we always start with the S, so the S would be one. Then there are three Ps, that's a total of four hybridized orbitals. And then two of the Ds. So these six, this, this represents six hybridized orbitals. And uh, if that is always the case, so when there were uh, four electron groups, there were four hybridized orbitals, and that was sp3, s, and three of the p's. And I know it is weird that we use these superscripts to characterize the number of electrons in orbitals when we do electron configurations, and now we're using them for just number of orbitals. I don't know, uh, that's, that's unfortunate, but that is the way it is. Okay. Uh, now let's draw some dipoles.
and dipoles as we've drawn go from the or point towards the more electronegative atom which is always fluorine so draw six and again so how I do dipole arrows is wherever I see a bond I know there has to be a dipole arrow and then I just think of which is more electronegative Nothing like fresh coffee. Any questions about this? Any other questions? <laughs>